I'm Scotty Lyons. I've been fishing my whole life. I'm Paul Brahaney and I'm passionate about cooking. Journey with us as we hook and cook great fish in amazing locations. G'day guys, Scotty here from The Hook and The Cook and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm on the hunt for green weed. So I'm going to show you a couple of simple ways to find it. Most of our estuary systems all around Sydney have creeks that lead to our major waterways. And these little freshwater creeks that combine with the salt water at times is where the green weed will grow. So it's a matter of putting on the runners, putting some legwork in, and you too can find your own green weed. So guys, please subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell notification up the top so you guys know when The Hook and The Cook posts a brand new video for you to enjoy. Okay, what you will need guys is a simple little tool to, to get your weed because a lot of the time it's in the middle of the creeks. So what I've got here is a, um, an extendable paint roller handle that I can slide out. And what I'm going to do to that and I'm just going to make myself up a bit of a hook. Like so. It just saves you getting your feet wet. There we go. Just wrap a bit of tape around that. That should hold it on fairly well. Like so. Now that'll allow me to, uh, to hook the green weed if it's growing in the middle of the creeks. So a simple device that you can make up to bring with you. Other guys use uh, small garden rakes and stuff like that. But I find this works quite well. Now as I'm walking up along the creek here, I come across our first green weed. It's a bit grown here. There it is just laying on the mud. Now, normally uh, what would happen at high tide, we'd probably have, you know, maybe a foot, two foot of water over the top of this, and that's why the, uh, the hook comes in handy. So you just tease this out. Beautiful green weed. Ready to go and chase a few Ludrick this afternoon. Uh, I've got a bit of a challenge on today with uh, Gary Brown. So he's gonna be fishing some artificial green weed flies which uh, work quite well and I'm going to take him on using green weed real bait and we'll see who um, comes up trumps now it's just a matter of going along scratching it up and give it a good rinse once uh, I've got what I need and I'm going to chop a fair bit of this up for burley mixed with sand as you've seen our other videos how to make a good Ludrick Burley. Righto, here's a little bit more growing here. So, as you can see, beautiful, fresh green weed. Look at that, lovely. I'm sure this is gonna work quite well for the Ludrick today in my challenge against Mr. Gary Brown. So just by dragging it off the top, it leaves plenty in the ground, so uh, it doesn't take long for this stuff to grow back. So other anglers can come down and enjoy and get a bit of green weed. So make sure you leave some. Here we have it. We'll go along a bit further and see what else we can find. Okay, time to give it a good rinse. Sort out some of the sticks and rubbish out of the weed. As you can see, it's quite dirty.
But as you can see, once you give it a rinse, look at that, beautiful. Well, there you have it, guys. A simple way to find your own green weed. Hope you've enjoyed that. Now, I've got to get home now and get myself organised to take on Gary in this fishing challenge this afternoon. So make sure you check out that video when it's loaded up. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you real soon on the hook and the cook. Cheers.